conversation that we want to have today. It's about Kanairo, Nairobi. Started, of course, by Rono, made even more popular by Ben Soul. The lyrics speak for themselves. Yeah, oh, what to So anyway, you learn a pair, piano and pair, and uh, people are more bold about it these days. So that's what we want to talk about today. Helping us do that is <laughs> no. <laughs> and I practice this. Non CZ. Right. Non CZ Agnes. <laughs> Woo, joins you us. You got it right. I did, didn't yes. you? Asante sana. Asante sana kwa kukuja. CJ Atemo is also with us. Uh, why are you struggling with that name? Man? I don't know. I think it's the way you may save kwa simu. I save it as non CZ. <laughs> at the end. Okay. So it's right. not no CZ. Non CZ. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much for coming as well. Thanks for having me. Shatterboy is also on his way. You know, it's Shatterboy ni Mduli. So before before a toke uko pali akuna maji afike itakuwa no maoshe dreadlocks he's on the way but also on Skype is uh, DNG can you hear me Yes I can hear you loud and clear Bonawil is mambo vipi Kabisa karibu sana pia thank you so much for making time for us this morning That's anti shukra All right and this is the question that we're asking you I don't know kama Joe asha cheza kama eh but today we're asking Joe kama iko Uta, there it is. Is monogamy a reality, or rather, the, it was supposed to be? Should we just accept that monogamy is overrated? We'll change it a little bit later on. Uh, it should be Joe Angalele ni mukutumia ko WhatsApp. You know, taweka apo. But then, it's still basically the same thing. And we're gonna start with you, Agnes. In the basis of that, that song that we've had, yeah. Um, the reason why it's so popular, I think 970,000 views already in just yeah. two days, is because it's addressing something that uh, has been kind of silent in this our Nairobi. Is that that women are becoming more bold when it comes to kutupanga, come on, home, true or false? <laughs> <laughs> wow. First of all, let's appreciate that art because mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a song that I think it's speaking the reality that is happening. What I'm not sure. Do. Yes. I don't know. I asked on my Instagram, is it the reality that is happening mm -hmm. in Nairobi? Is this what that we are experiencing? Because I think I'm in denial. <laughs> Maybe it's because uh, I'm not in the dating scenes, but I think is this what is happening in the dating scenes in that... I mean, women, I think, have always pangered men. It's only that it's not been bold. <laughs> <laughs> I think Finally, she always... speaks. She says she's not sure, and then she says, anyway, we've always done it. It was, I think it's... I mean, you've always had your options. Mm. I feel like it's been there, mm. but it's not been said as it is now. I stand to be corrected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. CJ, what do you think before you jump to danger? <laughs> Well, I think it's getting bolder, mm -hmm. uh, and and part of it is um, the fact that women want to feel that they make decisions about their life, you know, from uh, things like, and it didn't start there, but from things like my dress, my choice. Uh, we see women becoming bolder even about their bodies today, and they feel like, look, I'll wear what I want to wear, but that does not give you the right to uh, you know either have me or whatever so even when men will complain uh, that's too short that's uh, a bit too revealing they feel like this is how I feel mm -hmm. and them coming into that element now is also manifesting in other areas mm -hmm. of life including relationship mm -hmm. and uh, I know I have seen discussions some in some places where they say look you're not going to put on us chastity as women that a woman is supposed to keep herself and yet the men can do whatever they want yeah. so if I have the urge mm. to go out I'll go out because this is me so mm -hmm. there is that element of coming to themselves that is manifesting in a lot of ways mm. right now yeah. yes and I like that you say you know when you say the men can do whatever they want so I thought you're going to finish men can do whatever they want so help me God <laughs> 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 That's what I thought. DNG, what do you think about this whole phenomenon? Because, I mean, Kanairo is Nikunoma. What do you think? Nikunonzero. Yeah. Yo, first of all, I think we're experiencing a heightened liberation, uh, not just in Nairobi, but across the Republic of Kenya. And I think social media has also added to that uh, conversation because nowadays, you know, to reach that shorty or that guy that you're looking for, you know, you just need to double tap, you just need to slide it to their inbox mm -hmm. or their DM and hit them up and, and it's working. 
I also feel like um, we don't have a moral thermometer, uh, not just amongst young people, but across the republic. We, you know, look at our leadership. What are they showing us? So when you come back to the young people, what else do they have to look up to and say, yo, I want to live life the right way. We do not have any form of leadership. We do not have role models. We do not have examples. So the music that you're talking about is just a reflection of society, which is absolutely true. Walk into a club, you know, to pick a stranger and take a stranger home is all you need to do is buy a beer or a cider or something. Like, there is no struggle. There is no effort. And that is you know, why we're doing uh, this initiative for us, uh, Punguza Initiative, which is about trying to get young people talking about, about their relationships, about, about sex, and trying to show people that, hey, we can live life better because there are also risks involved. As much as tunakularaha, ananipatia, nakupatia, you know, there are also risks and we need to be cognizant of that. Yeah, so, Nonsizi, Nonsizi, I said it right. <laughs> Nonsizi was... Uh, was about to go under the chair when you said all it takes kununua ni kasaida. A beer. I'm like, beer. gosh, squeeze it, tunatoka beer. It's that bad. <laughs> Shut up, boy. Niliwambia when ni mduli so kablo fike. Kuna kajani. <laughs> Kuna kajani. Yeah, man. So karibu sana. Mwofa, ni kuna celebrate Arsenal. Ah, tuko mfike yopande ingine. Why do you want to spoil? Mfike yopande ingine ya table. Arsenal is the proverbial anyway, song. Yule na kupaya na nipea. Anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Dogo. But anyway, congratulations on your fluke. So, um. 3-0, yes. What we are talking about today. Yeah, man. Uh, in the context that it is, what are your initial thoughts about the song basically portraying women that they are bolder, I guess. Ya yeah, kwamba yule anakupea, ananipea, anakula fair, na mm. inaenda hivyo. Na uliwahi sema ukikula fair wewe ni locust. True I remember that. Nimekumbuka. But, nimekumbuka. <laughs> but go ahead. Ah, uh, acha nikwambie. Kwa hii society tuligrow tukisema what a man can do, a woman can do. A woman can do better. Okay? Wanaume mkaanza tabia. Hiyo tu sasa mna complain madem wanafanya. And they are here doing it better. Inabidu tunayikubali. But anyway, that said, my thinking is, in Kenya, tunakuwa gana, sinjui ni hite, culture deficiency syndrome. <laughs> okay, well, it, Kenya, I think we have a culture deficiency syndrome. Pali. We are, our culture is weak to an extent that any culture that comes to us, sisi we, it, 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 that is one of the things that we absorb. West Africa sana, tunanza kuongia kama hao, kidogo, tunaza kuongea lingala unaget hakuna atuweze ma culture yetu ni hii so hiki kitu inahappen sasa hivi leo una mademo amekuwa bold hivyo is it happening across the world ama ni Kenya pekee you get is it an isolated incident mm-hmm. and if it is is it a wave do we have seen waves like this coming and going is it a wave or is this one going to stay mm. so, sasa yeah. that is my thing CJ there's a time that I was talking to some young boys and uh, <laughs> they were heartbroken because they are saying squeezy oh wasichana our age men so wanatafuta tu pesa so now they are going for older men who have the money and then that leaves us with nowhere to turn um, because i don't know one day we'll have the conversation about ben 10 story for another day but uh, is that is 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 that such things contributing or what do you think is the major contributing factor because you said that uh, uh, you know it's just uh, now they are bold. No, it is Agnes here who said that wamekuwa kifanya. So tumekuwa tukipangwa tu na tujui. I know women are more slick at the thing, but hey. <laughs> you know, um, when you talk about the older men as well, it's not new. Mm-hmm. We have just been changing the tags that have been used. Um, Sugar daddy to yeah, sponsor. To, to sponsor whatever it is right sponsor. now. But it's always been there. <laughs> because the basic needs of human beings remain the same. How we meet those and how we articulate our needs may be changing. So these needs have been with the women all through. Generally, a woman wants to be taken care of. Generally. Um, when I was growing up, the gap between men and the ladies they married was about 10 years. Today it is you would be like age mates or even have an older lady. But generally those days you find if a girl is 18, then the man is 28. There had to be like a 10-year gap. It shows you that there has always been this 
need for a woman to be under, to have this father figure, kind of. And I don't want to go too much into that. But you see, generally, a husband is supposed to be a father to a wife. He's supposed to be this head, this leader, this provider, this protector. So the roles are nearly, they're fatherly, apart from now the romantic part of it. So this has been there over time. But the pressures of life have also intensified now. The economic pressures are also higher now. Peer so, pressure. <laughs> peer pressure is also crazy. Yeah. I mean, you've gone to school with this girl, and then tomorrow on Instagram, uh, she's on the streets of Germany, and she's doing well. You're thinking, I'm the only one who's not doing well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The next person is... Uh, all over the place, at the coast, every hotel over there, you know, they're on vacation. Like every week, you're thinking, what's going on with me? So that pressure is also intensifying. And so it is causing this need now to begin determining this, uh, to determine decisions. The need has always been there mm. for them to be taken care of. And uh, it's not anything new now. It's not anything new. Um, uh, well, I guess before I jump to DNG, Agnes, let me ask you this, because... Uh, People always say, by the time a woman is cheating, and you mem skuma. That's true. Yeah, umem skuma sana. But that's true. But that's and, and that, uh, but, that's, oh, but now that what used is to be in the past. Huh? <laughs> in the past, you needed to push them. Today, no. It's yeah, just a little. <laughs> just, just a little. So I'm like, what now. is it? Is sequizi kuskuma ne zko ele WhatsApp ya form? Rada. Rada. Rada, yo, sham skuma, like yo. Literally, the women who will be up. <laughs> 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 but that's what is what is happening these days tell us the perspective um honestly even me i don't know <laughs> <laughs> if, I knew, if, I knew, <laughs> if i knew i would i would totally honestly demystify but um i think and thinking about it, we have too many choices. Mm. And like back then, when you had to maybe die for this thing, for this, or whatever, it's a relationship or it's a marriage, because, you know, we could be talking in both contexts, could be a serious relationship. But again, by the time we have a form, we have a and you know, we are passing time. And that's the problem. No, no, that's no, that's yeah, yeah, Who that's said, it. according to me, we are not, this is your past time. We are going to go to the box. Bro, we are going to go yeah. Oh, yeah. So in, in my head, it's not what I want. I'm looking at you like, will is, will, will, at an <coughs> You know, at a, at a, Okay, at a, what is the qualifier for you, Kuweza? What are the points? In like terms of? CJ said, women uh -huh. want, if, let me tell you, if anything, women want stability. Do, you, do I look? Do I, just will I look like account? I will suffer in your hands? Is it a stable bank account? <laughs> really? No, actually, a... it's not. A, but to an extent, it's not. A, a bank account counts, or rather, financial stability counts. But again, are you a visionary and you look like you'll be able to take care of me? You'll be able to take care of because let me tell you. Eh? Suffering is not our portion. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it looking like it is men's portion? DNG, what do you think about what this? What, that, that, you know, that little push to go over the edge, um, you know, it's, it's, is it, what's going on? First and foremost, what's your tukubali? Madame, wakenya sai wakutayari. Wakutayari sana. And now when you may send Why are you interacting with <laughs> woman is just looking for form, it is true. Look at it this way. Look at the weekends, man. If you don't do your booking by Tuesday or Wednesday, <laughs> do your <laughs> booking. Then up the Kubua, Kuna Shatterboy, Kuna Ratemo, Kuna Willis, Kuna Nani, Kuna DNG, Kuna Mugine. And, and, and what that shows is that uh, there's also a lot of idleness. And what idleness does is that uh, it, it just leaves women just available for any Tom, Dick, and Harry to step in and say, yo, bana, Mara, this weekend, I'm a yo, bana, yeah, I just went to Naivasha, I'm a car trip, I'm a house party. That is what is happening in our scenario. I also agree with Bwana Ratemo because uh, if you look at our society today, peer pressure is at, is at, is at the top of, of our highlight, you know, and I feel like uh, likes on social media have become a basic need, like we're... A lot of people are like out there chasing clout. So it's all about impressing your peers with lifestyle, you know, look what my boo uh, bought for me, look where he took me this weekend. And we never see this boom as it's like <laughs> some invisible 
the boo is always uh, is is the, is the work of Jesus. It's the work of Jesus. It's a miracle. Sometimes you can see a tattoo. All the woman wants to show is this tattoo because Nairobi ni jijindogo ni bedroom dogo. So where's it you now? On a post, husband wanani, ama baba wanani. Na ukipatika okay, hiyo tatu nasema ai si tatu zinafanana. Alafu kuna kafora mkingine pale watu ni investigator. That is why That is why Nyashinski said uh, paparazi wanafanya ngumu kufanya usherati. That you was uh, that what Nyashinski alisema. Shut up boy. Yeah man. Um do you agree with Agnes? Ya kwamba Anyway, stability ndo wanatafuta. Hapana. Mhm. Hawatafuti stability. Wana jina huo. Mhm. Wana hata kidienje amesema ati ni ati wako available. Mia, I'm of a contrary opinion kidogo. I think madem sai wako na uwezo. Zamani madem alikuwa disadvantaged mm-hmm. in the sense that hawakuwa na hizo opportunity, hawakuwa na job, hawakuwa na do. Hata wakienda club mimi ni boy angebuy beer, una get ni boy angebuy drinks, ni boy atalipa kabu and home. But right now wako na hiyo uwezo. So sawa. So whatever you want to do they can do. Actually ukiangalia sasa hivi madem wengine wanafunga maboe. Ukienda mm-hmm. club dem ndo wanataka kulipa uh, muende kwake. They are doing those things. Why? Because they can. And when ni yao wanaifanya you will do it in their own terms. Not the other way around say when you una call shots a a atakupeleka na Rien. Sawa sawa. Na ikiwezekana asubuhi kupatia fare kuambia step. Sawa <laughs> sawa. <laughs> is because Ushangai. Sayo, yes uko na uwezo so right now ni kufanya vitu unajua at the risk of kusound kama nachoma hii society ile time iliamua ku empower girl child kuna watu wali hijackiwa agenda wakaonesha girl child kukuwa empowered ni kukuwa mwanaume sawa sawa kuna watu wali hijackiwa agenda and right now girl child ame inherit tabia za mwanaume mzuri na mbaya sawa sawa so hakuna venye angechukua tabia za mwanaume mzuri pekee amechukua hizo mbaya that is why unaona hiki tu inapenda sasa hivi nashangaa eh buda madem so amekuwa bold sana no 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 they just doing what we do because they have seen it and they've been told hiyo ndio kujina huo sasa hivi tumekubali tu hii Nairobi is a bedroom a small you, bedroom and you, you have, have to add the word small you have, to, you have is, to live in this Nairobi ni kama unajua uko kwa hiyo bedroom but my question is mm. when fine empowerment is good yes it very can, good yeah it's, it's good by the way because uh, if you're not empowered as a woman the things that you will submit exactly. to uh, because because let me yeah. say especially if you're not financially and empowered in, especially even in extreme cases FGMs and yeah. Yeah. empowerment is good yes. but at what point did it get and it, be, it became a now it became toxic because for me this sounds like toxic relationship kind of thing that is that is going on at what point did where, where did we lose our track when did we allow that today i can come nipe willis nipe atemo nipe eh nini na nimeoniwa hapa at what point na umuru wako mna kunywa tu hapo kwa meza lakini kila mtu hapa ako na story yake na shida tu mkiangalia simu yeah at what point did we allow this even you as as a, as a, as a lay, at what point do you feel it's okay you know i want to know where and i feel like i think well, i don't know if it's upbringing maybe atemo can help us <laughs> we are we brought up by a different generation mm. what is going on mm. what are we learning i want i would want, even yeah. here yeah as as we answer that question there is uh, i don't know if kama joe mcheza na kiwewe na question of the day wake up with you there you go should you then accept that monogamy is overrated sms 2242 joe tan saidia kuangalia uh, na ibra wa kibra and then the hashtag is daybreak and you can also tag at citizen tv kenya those should you then accept based on easy conversation that monogamy is overrated uh, and remember we are not advocating we are just asking the question <laughs> sms 2242 hashtag is daybreak and at citizen tv kenya cj what non is asking at what point is it that and uh, is it that we took for granted as as men were being men we took for granted that ah who dare me atakwanga tu you know so let's just go and do our thing and they are there they are there until one day they realize wait a minute i can two can play at this game is is that what happened do you think you know uh, mm-hmm. as she was speaking i'm just thinking of how whenever you come from one extreme you are most likely to swing to the other extreme mm-hmm. because you want to prove a point to yourself 
you want to prove a point to the people who kept you in that form of bondage or whatever mm-hmm. it was. That's why you will see when a woman comes out of a relationship that she felt was toxic, I mean, she'll post about <laughs> 10 times how she's free in a day. Mm-hmm. She'll be talking about With how quotes. she's enjoying her singlehood and all of that. Yeah. She's trying to prove a point <laughs> over there. So she goes to the other extreme. Sometimes they're not even healed. They're trying to convince themselves that they're healed because when you're healed, you don't even have to do all of that stuff. But I think they move from one extreme to the other where they were deprived and denied and then they get to the place where they feel like I can actually get everything that I want so when Nonsizi says stability and uh, Shutter Boy refuses the truth is the two converge because today the woman looks at stability in variety not in one person Mm. so she's looking at I want to go and hang out, I go with Shutterboy. Then I need money, I get Willis. Then I need uh, to go into a social function, I find this person. You so this whole DNG. variety... Social function is DNG. So when there's a concert, yes. you know now the government has banned our gatherings. Eh? Yes, yes. But uh, at the time when there were events, yeah. that's when the inboxes are flooding. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Complimentary VIP, Nini. There are those guys. And, for the and are very compartmentalizing and saying that this guy is the guy for, for solace and peace. Another guy yeah. is the guy for smashing. And, and which brings to the question of the day this relationship, Ronko. What is a relationship? So, as a generation, have we defined what a relationship is? That's right, yeah. Because smashing any Chile or any guy you meet is not a, being in a relationship, isn't it? So I think uh, the reason why we have this this uh, quagmire today is because as as young people we haven't defined relationships. We do not value relationships, and that's why you just move from person X to Y to Z without flinching. But you know these things catch up with you, but we're not getting any younger, and uh, the sooner we realize that uh, settle down, the better. So I feel like uh, we we should also be championing uh, positive living. And, and being responsible, that having fun is not equivalent to, to, to just moving from partner A to B, because at the end of the day, what do you really gain and, and what do you build? So I, I think that's a conversation that we mm. need to steer the right way. Mm. CJ, yes. Yeah, there's, okay. You know, uh, as he raises that, that uh, what is a relationship today? I think for most people, they're feeling like they need to prioritize themselves. And that's a conversation you'll hear ladies talk about a is lot. Is it bad? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be she, you should have seen I wish the camera in She took over the show. She was like, is it bad? Is no. it bad? Prioritize it, me. No, it is not. Thank you, But Ibra. you see, uh, with every new space we come into, we also must learn the rules and the responsibilities that come with that. Otherwise, we find ourselves in the place of extremes. So that now when somebody says, I need to prioritize myself, sometimes they do that at the expense of everybody else. They don't think of how their decisions affect other people. So they will feel like, I'll be with Willis, I'll be with uh, DNG, I'll be with Shutterboy, I'll be with CJ, I'll be with all of this, because my happiness comes first. So, but for a relationship to work, there's got to be an element of sacrifice. Well, yes. Now, most ladies, most ladies make decisions based on what they saw happening to their mothers. And they're trying to move away from that completely. Like, I'm not going to suffer the way I saw my mother, whatever. (laughs) So they make decisions and they are throwing away the baby with the bathwater. There were very good elements of how our mothers were in those relationships. But now the empowered girl thinks everything about their mother was wrong. So they're throwing away all of that and feeling like I need to do something completely different. But you know what? Uh, non says it. There's nothing new under the sun. I'm sure if you're bringing very passionate, what do you have to say? The Lord is good passionate. But big willy thinking young pia another thing to fa consider sis water ni vit what wanna consume co market matters industry entertainment and news what content eco sexualized and that is the truth at a commercials. Zamani sisi to ki grow ungeona what kiss kwa TV 
unge ungefunga macho au mke uende wazazi wako hapo sawa sawa today ukiwa na mtu yuko hao si ni kiss kissing happen hata amka it's a normal thing dunia ina change una get everything pia kulikuwa na zile ads tu za kuvalisha umbrella yeah. condom uh-huh. zile sema na mimi mtu hata ndo mchezo kando okay uh-huh. unge yote na wazazi Okay. Mimi hata bold and beautiful ilikuwa inafika. Unaamua kando. Unaget. But that didn't happen. Yeah. Hizo unapata hata kuna movie at watu wadogo kuna boyfriend girlfriend. Things are sexualized add dress code. Unaget una feel uki. Ni kama pia chakula watu wanakula ina produce itakuwa test 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 It is all over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah man, it's just all over but that said big willy mm-hmm. he relationship as it is needs to be redefined you get you people are getting into a relationship expecting to get things that as you easy happen say with the way dunia iko kuna watu walikuwa na kandamizo ndo relationship zikuwe sahi hawa kandamiziki sawa sawa na wewe una feel your territory is being uh, raided you want to protect it for that reason unashindoka kwa hiyo relationship a relationship right now as it is needs to be redefined and people need to be taught a new way into relationships do the way it was zamani right now it's not working that is why the divorce rate iko this high una get vile ilikuwa zamani sahi hii work kuna vitu ungefanya as a man you would expect kurudi kwa hao shughulike na wife yako because ako kwa hao sahi she is working ukirudi home she won't do that utajam because you saw it happening uki grow so uki jam what do you do hata kwambia wewe fanya hivi wewe ndo utafuta mtu mwingine uishi naye hivyo ndio na wewe unani sawa utoki utafuta mwingine bado ita fail tu na si but si maribika relationship the point is the upbringing that we had during that time is not the upbringing that is today and is not the relationship that is today you know get unless you get someone that you grew up together mde mnatoshana so aliona maisha kama wewe bland you know get so sahi sahi ukienda utafuta dem young trust me i'm not relate juu yeye anajua relationship in a different angle bila wewe unaijua. Yeye anajua kistyle ya Major Gary ya Lembo Monique. Yes. Keja kama no, majirani. Yeah, but also when Usiji was talking about okay, will this will take me out? Uh, Shatter boy will do this. I remember our last conversation. We said that we don't expect this man to have everything, right? Like okay, vile too... many points sikijakuwa kwa kitu. This man is like a person. To, I mean, or rather it's it's unfair even yeah. to expect actually it's both ways even to expect a woman to be literally everything so i feel like the point that we are missing is the point of sacrifice people do not want to sacrifice but i'm not saying you kill yourself eh hey, this life eh hey, i can kill myself mm. don't kill yourself but there are things that you will lose for you to gain something but is the person that i am sacrificing for what I think that is the question. That's the question. Uh, DNG you talked about uh, sa- almost the same thing that uh, non is saying. Wait, Mungu ni mwema. that Agnes is saying here that the fact that you know you people need to realize that anyway at some point you're going to have to you're going to have to stop. So is that what you're talking about in terms of the sacrifice and when do you know it's the time? When do you know eh hey, because I don't know if I can use this word in the morning. Um, everybody has a phase. <laughs> <laughs> you know the one I'm talking about. It's a fun dude. No. <laughs> Everybody has that phase. When do you say, "Eh, I'm serving notice to the streets. I'm done." <laughs> yes. Yo, Willis. In talk, they call it the HOE phase. Yeah, there you go. Oui. But we are talking about the farm tool for Ezekiel's purposes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and you know, Willis, Bana, you know, <laughs> the, even the Bible says Matt, that uh, uh, when you're young. You make uh, decisions based on your youth and and, and uh, based on what you know. But as you grow older, as you become more mature, you need to step up and make better better choices. And and yeah, you know the 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 young person is all about experimenting and trying this and you know peer pressure checks in and sometimes you make decisions not because it's what you want, but it's what seems cool at the time and it's what people are doing, say in your uni or in your mita. But um, for those of us who are you know getting a bit more. Uh, mature and older step by step day by day you know we need to make better choices and 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 i think that as as nonsense said there must be sacrifice 
relationships are pretty difficult. But, you know, and I think there's something about Kenyans that we, we, we give up so easy. Even if you find that when we're agitating for political change and better leadership, we trends, it trends, and then after some time we forget and we move on to the next thing. So we, we're we quitter. And instead of quitting, we need to keep working at this relationship because not is going to be perfect ever. Life is up and down. If it's just steady, that means it's your day there. No, I don't want to tell you that I don't want to tell you that I don't want to tell you that I don't want to tell you that. So what we're saying is that we need to make better choices as young people and we also need to value family because relationship is about family. If you look at the onset, many families are broken, many families come from difficult um, backgrounds, but you know, we cannot shift the blame to our parentage. What we need to do is say that, hey, I want to be better. Mimi, when you and and I think instead of looking for uh, satisfaction in, in person X, Y, Z, and then A, B, C the next week, we should focus all our energy on one person. It's actually sweeter, it's safer, it's less risky. It's and less feeling. drama. Less drama. <laughs> drama. <laughs> the drama. Don't forget the drama. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, when you're, when you're dealing with five partners, the drama is to the power of five. Yes. Remember yes. <laughs> Drama, in, no, for when it is five partners, it is power ten. You don't understand, no. it's dangerous. <laughs> Shata, you had a question. Nime uliza, eh, vile tunaishi sai, na vile yao wanajinawu, eh? Nani ya misema it's bad? Oh, you, you're okay with you're okay the with setup? The... Yes. Oh, how, wow. why? Because that is what we are, and that is where we are. So how do you Let move from stop. there? <laughs> what do you mean? We live life. <laughs> <laughs> we live life. Even the Otuko, let me tell you something. Yes. There is a mistake that people try to do. We try to force the, the history of yesterday to be the history of tomorrow. So, so which is a lie. Mm. A history of yesterday cannot be, it's not a must. So, so, and if life is changing, every dynamic of life is changing, why shouldn't relationships change? Your life, my friend, as it stands, you will live a miserable life. But okay, as a man, it was, you know, uh, shut up, boy. Let's let's be honest. <laughs> um, the models of cars are changing, yes. but the dynamics are the same. <laughs> the, basic dynamic, the basic dynamics <laughs> remain the same. There are certain there are certain fundamental laws that will govern how the car operates, that will govern how the cameras operate, that will govern how the aeroplane operates. And so even relationships have certain basic dynamics. Mm. So the model may change a bit, mm. maybe how we communicate, uh, maybe how we reason, maybe the amount of space we give each other, but there are certain, certain things that must remain basic. And one of them is respect. Yes. You know, yes. you, we can't say now today uh, we can throw away respect because that's old fashioned. We cannot throw away things like sacrifice, uh, okay. which Nonsense was talking about. Both sides have to make sacrifices because mm. if I only think about myself, yeah. and what I want. Uh, what if my partner does not have the whole package of what I want? What if their personality, their preferences uh, does not fit into certain other things mm -hmm. that may be my fetish? I may be wanting to go out a lot and that's not their thing. Do I leave them because they don't club? Or if I want 50 <laughs> shades of grey <laughs> yeah. and so they only know one colour. <laughs> So do I leave <laughs> them? So it's the 80-20 rule where yeah, you, if it is. you're going to have to look at, okay, they don't have everything, yeah. yes. but I can live with what they have. Yeah. So I will sacrifice the yes. rest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, you say that there are relationships that are going to happen, but there are relationships that are going to happen. The it author. is people that set those <laughs> things for us. Yes? But you see, Meaning, also, we are, we are also people that can set those things for other people. Uh, no, okay? well, the, the people that set those rules, and respect is relative. It's not that it is written somewhere, this is how to respect someone. Okay? It is relative, according to me. Therefore, my thinking is, these rules are to be able to 
pia sisi tutaelekea watu wanyona kuja rules waishi nazo sasa kana hiyo tu watu waendelee tu we have yeah. some feedback before we <laughs> watu waendelee tu kuni kujinao ah watu wajinao let's yeah, take some feet i've got the right of reply <laughs> okay go ahead. He's, he's, on, he's on national tv go ahead you see when you say when you say those rules were written by people mm. and so they don't hold again i'll go back into the examples i gave the medicine we use in hospital who invented those who came up with them people so yes. do we say we don't take medication because people came up with that no we would not be wise to throw away knowledge or wisdom just because we think it's people okay let's take some feedback uh i'm, I'm told there's some four tweets uh ibroki bracheza kama wewe monogamy died a long time ago <laughs> It's a person sharing narrative today in Kanairo. More life. Ni ba Barnabas. Sorry, I can't see the name sana. Don't panic eh. Kibra acha tu ni simama kidogo. All right, so Barnabas simi. Okay. So next is Opija N. Kanairo is either Otekwe, Otekane, ama Oteke. That is mambo ya major. Roy Kipruto too. Yeah, so much. How do you expect other ladies to survive and men are not satisfied with one? Let people do their thing. And that is a man who say that, you know. That Moniki mm. Morrison some women are looking for stability in variety. Now I get it. <laughs> Ke homwangi. Uh monogamy is overrated and the Bible is <laughs> the moral thermometer. Okay. I I guess we'll have to explain that one because I think here anatumia ule bro wetu alikuwa anaitwa Solomon. Vile ali <laughs> aliishi akasema akasema mambo zee alikuwa na kika na hero yake hiyo time those that's just some of the feedback there it's interesting to see uh no since the men say ai wa dem siku hizi it's like tumesema ah even wa dem wako sorry it's easy to see men even talk about it na kusema eh hey, by the way wanawake ni pa person sharing Yeah. yeah. Um it's well, there's one thing that <laughs> I saw that and I'm like surely okay, I I I have you know the NG said one of one thing and um it's if the availability is brought about by idleness. So I don't know at what point did we become idle. I think in your in your early 20s you are idle. Why not focus on improving yourself? Because the minute as a woman you improve yourself, you empower yourself, you stand a high chance of getting a man who is equally empowered and financially empowered more. So the more I feel like I don't know if we miss the essence of um, i'm looking for the word mentoring have the people who've gone ahead us not mentored us in that kind of way because the minute let me say like this low risk uh, investment low risk return so mm-hmm. if you invest in yourself more the minute you will want someone who is more it will come with more am i making sense yes, so yes. Again. when you're available to go everywhere okay fine it's good because again if you don't do those things then then utajikutanga tu in your 40s in the marriage <laughs> so it's, it's about balance i don't know you know I, i wanted to say something about that uh, sorry for interjecting but i don't really think it is idleness uh-huh. it is appetite it is not just girls who are not working who are doing this even those who are busy with their careers what time do you have oh my goodness we had a conversation on hot up hour shutter boy igunza bensu and we had some ladies over who are saying that by the way mimi nikamka hata kama naenda kazi yangu ni najua leo shutter boy ndo nampea with what energy leo so ta squeeze in ka lunch break yes ta squeeze in ka after five mm. hey it's yeah. tight in this so, Nairobi. so i think it's the appetites of the people <laughs> yeah. and uh, if you really want something you will get it DNG, uh, DNG, what do you think is feeding this uh, appetite? I think first and foremost, man, say, if any what to work, you know, <laughs> the, 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 the <laughs> as uh, the moment as uh, shutterbos insinuating is at an all time low. Hakuna morality. Ukiangalia hata kanisa pasta na chafua buda na angalia wale watu wanatoa tithe na pita nao. You know, who is the source? who's going to be the source of, of, of morality in this generation. I think that's number one. Number two, if you add idleness plus what Ratemwa said, 
appetite hiyo ni shida sasa ile kubwa kabisa because somebody who is idle alafu wako na appetite ya juu those are the women who are in people's houses today one week they are our particular nyumbani there's a missing person report being filed by the mother <laughs> they are trending have you seen my sister have you seen my sister the next week they in another person's digs that's what's happening man and you find that uh, kama sai the only thing that it majaribu kupunguza hii mambo ya ratchetness na kuchotana right left and center ni huru kinyata and let me explain <laughs> when the cup is placed kafu umeambia watu by 10 manze ukipatikana kwa barabara either unafungwa unasign bbi ama unatoa tithe <laughs> so you know hiyo appetite na kulimana na kuchotana imepungua ime pungua kidogo so logistics pale ndio na come in place okay natoka kazi za ngapi nitaingia kwa kwa wili za ngapi nitachotoa nirudi za ngapi mbani by 10 pm ama nikuje tu nyumbani time ya hapo ka 9:45 is when i saw that kwa wili you know saying, can no do the free umeingia <laughs> so so the winner in this covid scenario has been the family hmm. because wa mama wale wameolewa wanakaa nyumbani wanaume wale wameoa wanakaa nyumbani so asante sana bwana rais kwa kutufungia hichi but on the other side shut up boy the other thing that has happened as well is during the covid mm. if you um, we've seen a lot of things in terms of you know uh, mental breakdown relationships yeah. you see so it's also coming to terms with uh, as uh, the late michael jackson would say the man in the mirror Mm-hmm. or in this case the woman in the mirror or the women in the mirrors mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yes what do you think <laughs> thinking yangu ni atirona madem nezo vitu wanadu afanyi pekee it yep. also means Very the right. man is available thank you for this to happen thank the you. man is also available okay or the men in this instance <laughs> well, <laughs> the yeah. men. but let me tell you sisi tuki grow our parents were worried for us they were well, feel we are a lost generation like au watatokea wapi hizi nini wanafanya hizi ni nguo gani wanavaa hizi ni gani wanaimba kina manyakezi kiimba the famous watoto wa siku hizi yes yes una get were, but here we are we turned out not, not so bad hata kama sio poa hatuko mbaya sana we are somewhere we are somewhere you get so hata hii generation ina kam tukisema sasa hii to deal na na girl child peke tumwambie cheki kanyaga breaks kidogo na boy child hujamwambia kanyaga breaks you see hii kitu what we can do is talk you see the way we talk wenye wanasikia wasikie au wengine hiyo appetite inafika kwa tu pale hata ukiwa na njaa aje unakulaga unashiba sawa sawa hiyo appetite yao ita, watashiba tu alafu watulie mm-hmm. hakuna pali wanapotea hii tuko ward tu vile wazazi wetu walikuwa ward ni vile mtu ajuangia anazeeka sasa ndo tumezeeka sasa sasa hii sasa ndo tuko ward nao na ndio tunachanga nguvu inatoka hapa by the time the appetite settles it will be too late damage to the other person You know uh, the other week I had somebody talking to me and uh, this this is a couple and this guy said he cannot even just go into the bathroom he is very paranoid and uh, he's very paranoid he just thinks that this lady will go out so he can't even he cannot even go to the bathroom without locking the door so you can imagine well whether it is true or not is a different case but if you have somebody who has that kind of appetite let me say by the time they settle the damage <laughs> that has been be done yeah is huge yeah and last time we also talked about you know carrying that thing so the women who yeah. will get hurt by somebody not fix it going yeah. look for stability in dng not fix it look for stability in shata not fix it by the time they are meeting willis oh my god you're suffering the sins <laughs> yeah, i am suffering the sins of my father's fathers to the fourth generation uh, we have some sms feedback as well let's take a look at um at that all right and i to kenya 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 and i watch from eldoret and i said i want you to know sio kanairo tu hata huko eldini kunoma but malisafi and the chain chain he is sisi huita chura society all right we have some to any viewer kama wewe iko na pesa hakuna sida na wewe yeah Anthony Savioga kutoka Viga Malai Malai you should remember we are God's creatures and obliged to adhere to his guidelines in life which also include in Ecclesiastes drink and make merry and enjoy the wife of your youth anyway Ole Kenka Narok uh, emphasis mine Ole Kenka Narok says the truth is men are naturally polygamous even animals exhibit the same where shatuita maumbwa viewer 
any relationship without God in its in it is fake and cannot last. The principle will never change. Okay, I have. Is that the last one? So I see it. Thank. Uh, yes. Any relationship and and CJ, while the viewer has a point, and this is true, I also feel like it is blank statements like this that become a little bit misleading, mm. Um, mm. because there are Christians who are struggling in their relationships as well. A lot my time. Yeah. You have to work it. You have to work it. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a Christian, you don't pay, pray for your car. You take it for service. Mm -hmm. You still have to take it to the mechanic, change the oil, change whatever needs to be changed. That's the same thing even with marriage and relationships. There are needs that people will have, emotional needs, which you cannot pray about, physical needs. I feel like saying preach, bro. <laughs> yeah, you can't pray at all. I pray that you'll be satisfied. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You have to work on physical <laughs> physical <laughs> sexual needs mm -hmm. that sometimes um, now with those cases people are not very comfortable. I think one of the challenge especially for people who have spent a lot of time in church when they have been young is for so many years you've been told sex is sin then you're coming into this relationship and now it's supposed to be good overnight and so you find people don't know how to behave even in their marriages so some people are deprived because from childhood they were told it was sin so she has kept herself then she comes into this marriage and then this man uh, uh, has an men have always been ready <laughs> yeah man yeah. men, men have always been ready so <laughs> so this person now has to make the switch mm -hmm. in here and this man will begin to feel deprived all of those kind of scenarios as mm -hmm. well so yeah all right so i want to uh wrap it up for the polar dng uh we'll start with you uh we have about two minutes left uh what what do you think in your view is the way forward uh in terms of uh, getting to a place where there is some semblance of normalcy first and foremost i like that uh, proposal by the viewer who says that uh, relationships need to be founded in god that is true man mungu ndo idea Mungu ndo anafanya hata watu kupunguza, Mungu ndo anafanya watu kutulia bwana wili. Sio saying when is the time to to uh, throw in the towel? I think uh, Mungu anakuambianga. I think God speaks to your spirit and tells you bwana unapotea. Ama brings about different things that uh, bring chaos to your life so as you try to unravel that chaos, realize hey, kumbe mimi ndio nilikuwa nimesababisha hii shida yote. And also as we as we chat away forward as, as a young people, we need to think about the consequence of all our decisions as we are chotting this chile as you are cooling person X, Y, Z there is man and and as as, as the was saying Banati, let guys do what they want to do I don't think it's the right way to encourage the generation because <laughs> the STIs, no one has talked about that what one to make up when you are done in when I was a boy and 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 I was uh -huh. You know, like what, what pain are you giving to your partner when when they realize what how you're misbehaving uh -huh. and how you what you're doing? You know, it's wrong. And I think we once we realize that we've been doing the wrong thing, we need to step up and be better. To sisau pia ukedi iko, to sisau pia unwanted pregnancies are there, man. Akuna aja upate watoto ambao uko nataka na mtu ambao uko nataka. Then you put one toto ten tao kwa clinic pale chini ya maji. You know, it's it's those things that are avoidable, and that's what we are all about as Pumbuza Nation. All right, Shata. Uh, Wagwan. You mean I say my new generation in a grow? You look on base going in on a fikiria. God does a lot of your towards him. I could not come to you about a fikiria at some point. You look on to you. But if you are a young person and you want to get into a relationship now, know what you're getting yourself into. Jua unaingia kwa relationship na nani? Ako na values gani za relationship? Ni same na zako. If no, jua kama unaingia juu unaingia kujiumiza. If yes, good for you. Do your research. Wacha ukimbilia relationship. Iko tu hapo. Na hata akienda ile mwingine akuwa wako, you will get someone else. Just do your research before you get into a relationship to avoid heart heartbreak. Alafu before that happens, everyone in this same in Kanairo, but Mr. LDP has been happening. Anyone, <laughs> everywhere. Please, <laughs> come away in the youth. JMB, we are living in one bedroom. And start living like you're in that. Take care of yourself, please. Okay? More fire. Right. And it's easy. So I think I would want to borrow from something that Atego said. It's about the limits. 
whatever you're doing, please know the limit, you know, because I'm not saying we should not go out there and have fun and enjoy the wife of their youth. <laughs> <laughs> and if you decide, you know, if you decide you want to settle down early, probably in your early 20s, it's not a bad thing. Like Shata Boy has said, know what you are getting into. Really, are you mature when you're young? And this relationship things are things that need a level of maturity. Even some of us look back and you're like, hey, hey how did we handle this? Because <laughs> it needs a certain level of maturity that I don't think you have when you are young. So if you decide to do it, have their limits. And I'm sure you will know when you will. Hey, hey, what are you? What are you? What are you? Hey, to chance I could as much as possible so there's no need to keep on going out there looking for everyone who has something that I feel I need because the truth is there'll always be somebody who makes you feel a certain way there'll always be somebody who is better always be somebody who has more money always be somebody who's more exciting out there you have to just make up your mind and say okay I'm going to work with this that I have but that does not mean that you shouldn't enjoy it as well. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you to everybody for coming through. Really appreciate all the feedback. Also, all of you guys who've been talking to us online, uh, so many of them still there that we couldn't get, but we'll say Asante Nisana. A big thank you to DNG. Make sure you follow me at DNG Kenya across all platforms. And you can also follow at Shata underscore boy. Yeah. <laughs> on uh, Instagram, Shata Tikitaka. On uh Twitter and also catch him on uh, Radio Citizen every day, 10 to 1. Non CZ Agnes on Instagram, Agnes Non CZ on Twitter, yes? Yeah. All right. Bus and uh, Mimi ni Badman Willow, anyway, sorry, it is just at Willis Naburu. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, the takeaway is that we have to keep talking. Most people have said that. Keep talking, keep finding out what it is you want, keep researching, keep knowing what it is you're getting yourself into. And at the end of the day, any relationship, wewe na ye na mutakachi ni muandike constitution yenyo. Mukiandike constitution, mupatane nyi mutakwa watatu. Sini nyinyi tu, si sisi tutakwa hapo. Sisi sahi after hii, tunayena makwetu. So it's all about you and what you want. And remember, you're divine, you're worthy, and you deserve the best. Peace.